Hello, Virgo and cross watchers. Welcome to your February reading for this current year. Yay, sorry, I got like Mediterranean sea salt that you crush in a little thing all over my table. Because I decided to go all in my soup. It was terrible. Like, you wouldn't think much about it. I usually like salt, but I've never had to chew salt, so it was immediately like, no, I, I can't do this. I have a limit. Also, I'm 34, so, you know, I can't go too far. Anyway, Virgo. Alright, for your thing, the message I got for you is... What was it? Oh, kitten, you're on my notebook. Yes, you are. Just ready to get in this lap. Mm. It's like the reward for failure is fortitude. Whatever that'll mean, right? So, this is for the sign of Virgo and Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. If this resonates with you, cool. If not, don't worry about it. You just boop your nose, away it goes. There's no point worrying about shit that ain't about you. It ain't none of your business unless you're nosy, and that's the only reason, right? So, anyway. Oh, and if you want a personal, all the info is in the description box below, underneath the music listing. So, go there for the info if you want. So, like, in this energy right here, someone feels like they don't have any options and they need to come up with something different because they're not living their happily ever after. Um, they want to take a leap of faith, but it, it, I can't tell if this is after something didn't work out in their favor to start something new or if it's going to end up being something not new. I won't know until we get there, right? And the wants and wishes, someone's asking for someone to shoot their wands up and fail and clunk people in the head when it comes to, like, taking off and, like, trying to find better shit, right? So, Virgo, this could be somebody you're dealing with, or this could be you, of course, who's kind of hoping that um, someone's going to fail with, like, moving on really. Uh, however, the obstacles and challenges, things have been thrown in the place that didn't work out in one's favor, and now they're not sure what the fuck to do. Uh, their fears and rejections is the star man reverse. With the two of cups, they're afraid they can't manifest um, possibly a partnership with you or you with them. And then how this shit starts, how it'll end, how it comes full circle, the cycle, right? This Prince of Pentacles is halting his movement and offering. What is he not offering? Some bullshit attitude. Might be you, Virgo, not trying to be spiteful in the situation, and that's why you're holding back. But I feel like someone's got some ill intentions, you know. Someone's definitely reflecting on a past situation right here where they felt a little betrayed a, a bit with the Five of Swords reversed in the beginning theme. Yes. Anyway, so this might be somebody you're dealing with, Virgo, but I feel like they don't want you to move on, or you don't want them to move on. One of the two, Virgo and Cross Watchers. So, let's see with this energy over here. This person feels like they need to spur in something new because they're not happy. Um, they might come in saying the wrong shit. Probably on purpose. Just out of spite, could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. All because they're in their fields, right? Yeah, this could be somebody that you're dealing with, Virgo and Cross Watchers. So it's like. This is kind of more of their perspective. The Sacred Clown or the Full Reverse with the Ace of Wands, right? Might be a bad idea trying to take this leap of faith into something that isn't going to work out. Someone might try it anyway. Someone might try it anyway. Someone might just walk away from that phoenix. Or go to that phoenix eventually. But that's a bad idea. Like, whatever you want to take a leap of faith in, or they want to take a leap of faith in, it's not going to start anything. But I don't think they're paying attention to that. Wants and wishes with the Six of Wands and the Eight of Cups both reverse. Someone's hoping that, like, whatever they're gonna shoot out. This could probably be just hubris, too. 
you know, they're trying to, like, gain a victory over you, but instead they just clunk themselves and everybody else in the head while this person still walks away from these Eight of Cups. Let's see. They're scared of facing that devil. That's why it hits them back in the face. It's like they don't have the courage nor the reasoning to... Like, they don't think that there's a good reason to be afraid, but they are. Obstacles and challenge what they've sown poorly and the indecision that's spurred from it, right? They don't know what to do. At all. Oops. Thank you, kitten, for catching that with your body. Because you're laying right on the lap. Yeah. They feel like any movement will be disastrous. Riding in will be disastrous. Especially if they're coming for booty. Because um, they know they weren't the goodest boy ever. Virgo, you're probably slightly pissed off at them. Just enough. Right? And you feel like, you know, like, pretty spoiled in this situation. Like, someone took your favorite toy or some shit. Or touched something that was yours without asking permission first. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think they know how to approach you at all. Whoever this may be, Virgo and Crosswatchers. Or it could be you not knowing how to approach the situation. Just because of how things have gone down, I feel like. Whatever that may be. The fears and rejections is not being able to manifest this two of cups situation with the uh, Starman or the Magician Reversary <coughs> here. Because some secrets came out. Someone found out some shit. What kind of shit, I wonder? Maybe it'll tell us. Maybe it won't. Maybe something else is coming with it. Who knows? Some shit came out. About this magician. Something that they manifested. Yeah. So, yeah, this person knows that, like, they probably did something. Probably this whole mouthing off because they were hurting their feelings possibly thinking that that was going to fix the situation, but it made it worse. And I don't even feel like they said much of anything at all. I think they just said enough. How does shit start? How to end? Knight of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups. A stagnant offer and like giving your own sour expression back to them. Yeah. Because you know that's going to start some shit, Virgo. Yes, they can't take your words. No. You know that like you will say something that is just going to get under their skin. You know, and yeah, you might not even be conscious of how much you'll put into this slight disaster that might be upon you, such as this person is just, uh, mm, you know. Dude, my little sister made like this vegetable soup, right? I'm gonna start fighting my mom over it because I just tried it and it's fucking good, man. Alright. What's the ending theme? Now I'm done praising my little sister for her food that she gave me for no reason. We got the Five of Swords reversed. Someone's kind of reliving some shit in their head. I don't think that's the person you got betrayed. Because, you know, this person... Mm, Becky's bored. She's being dramatic. And now she's just being like, I don't want to talk about it. You know. Like, the world that we created isn't as best as it used to be. And now we're pretty sure that this relationship is over between the two of you. It's just crumbled their image, right? So, let's clarify. Oh my god, there's rocks off everywhere on my table. And on my kitten now. Shit. I'm sorry, kitten. Ah. Sorry, guys. It's like, it's gonna bug me if I don't get this. I will sweep that up here after I'm done with y'all. Okay. Clarify. Do you want to bless this? No, you have your eyes closed. You only pay attention. Anyway, back to you. Alright, so the energy, right? This person probably ran their mouth. 
because they were in their feelings and now they're regretting it. You know. They want to speak some truth here, cause action to come about, right? Maybe make some changes. Maybe they'll come in and be like, look, I love you, and I'm sorry I say ignorant shit a lot, you know, because it's going to bug them for a really long period of time, right? Or it's becoming a guilty conscience of sorts. Or maybe they'll just tell you that it's bothersome, either you or the person you're dealing with, Virgo and Cross Watchers. Uh, the situation down here where someone has a we're like having ah, some really bad judgment call about what it is they're going to resurrect right because you know they're still living that whole idea that like you know they're okay with like driving the person they want away they're just going to keep pretending until it feels like it's true you know um but they're having a really hard time carrying this burden to the point where they don't want to pick it up anymore like they've been playing this role for a while and now it's like eh, i'm tired of this Wants and wishes, they're afraid to face something because they don't have a reason for it. Completely unjustified. <laughs> Double energy with that justice card. It's just like, no, there's no reason not to have a reason. Right? And it feels like you're trying to get them to see that. Because they're at a crossroads with it. Obstacles and challenge for this individual Virgo and Cross Watchers. And no freaking clue what to do with their love or where they're going with their cup. They're just in the dark and being like, uh, you know. They need to look at their emotions and realize, you know, it's just a fish in the cup. That's all. Shit happens, you know. Boy, they got. Uh, uh, but it's just like they hear one thing and then it's on like Donkey Kong. Completely unjustified, though. Fears and rejections that it was secret that they were the reasons why all this shit happened. Or they're the cause of their own problems, you know. They really can't, like, talk their way out of this after the conflict. It's kind of like they're exposed. Exposed. You know, like, it's hard to cover it up when somebody realizes what you did. It's like they're looking back in hindsight being like, hmm, maybe that was a bad idea. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, you know. Yeah, there's going to come a death to that. It's not important anymore. Scorpio is involved here. We also got Libra. Um, and everybody else, too. Sorry, kitten. I didn't mean to overcrowd you, man. Oh, God, you got a lot of salt on Fur. Oh, so, I was trying to get it off the table, and she rubbed on the table when I was doing it. So, it, yeah, it just fell off. Poor kitten. Anyway, we have the Nine of Cups reverse right here. Someone made a wish, and now they feel more like a servant than they are being served in it, right? Uh, not realizing there's some background noise going on that they don't recognize a little bit. Trying to Google shit to figure out answers. Or using Google Scholar at that. Oh boy. You know, because this is a free-for-all and no one's supposed to be surviving, right? Someone might have to dump their cup when they realize that this offer might just be a bug that isn't good for anybody. Um, going through all of these leaps and bounds for not a damn thing because it doesn't make you happy to begin with. This is actually the first two cards. Or, yeah, these two cards are, are the first two. Huh. How does shit start, tattle, end, Virgo and Cross Watchers? Okay. This is three. Four. I'll give you four. In fact, it's the last one. Alright. Um, moving with disaster, this uh, querent right here. They started some shit, but they don't realize that they started it. It's, yeah, they're coming to fear it, but it's not taking full hold yet, you know, like, that they are the shitty magician. Um, thinking that they, like, hold someone in the palm of their hand. That shit needs to die because, like, they're about to get caught up in their own bullshit. Or they they know they're getting caught up in their own bullshit. They are barely making it past the bullshit meter. So, yeah. Virgo. That's your reading. So I hope this helps you out and you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, you ain't got to if you don't want to. I'd greatly appreciate it, though. You all have a wonderful night. I love your faces, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.